Hey guys, how's everything good? This is Jay, so who's not good at algorithms. In this video, I'm going to take a look at 146 LRU cache, design and implement a data structure for list recent uh, used cache. Well, mm -hmm. you should support the following operators get and put, get a key, get the value of the key if the key exists in the cache, otherwise, return minus one. Put, set, or insert the value if the key is not already present. When the cache reaches its capacity, you should invalidate the least recently used item before inserting a new item. Mm -hmm. The cache is initialized with a positive capacity. Okay. Could I do both operator operations over one time complexity? For example is like we create a cache with two capacity capacity of two. First we put one in, the value is one, okay. Now we put two in with two. So the capacity is four. Now we get one, we return one because one is in it. And then we put three in. Now it's overflow, right? We need to remove one because one is pro is get it, is got, uh, and the two is not processed at all. So we remove two. So the cache becomes one and three. Okay, let's just uh, write down the example. One, two. Now get two, get one, right? So I think for the order one should be uh, the the should be uh, latest processed, latest used. Now we push three, and so two need need to be removed, right? Something becomes this. So now we have one three, and now we get two. Two is minus one, so we put four. Okay, so four, the same, one is gone. Uh huh. Get two, get three, get four. Yeah, so actually we're going to get this. Well, of course, for the key value, we need to use a map, right? Uh, use a map to key value. So how will we hand, how can we handle the order? Well, the good thing is that for a map, Right for a map in JavaScript, the order is kept. Wow, which is really cool. So the so when we push a new one, map map uh, in JavaScript it keeps the order. So if we put new things, the order is kept. Push. If we if we remove something, like we need to remove, right? We need to find the first one. Well, we should get get the first one from map. And uh, if we, we get get one and update the order, well, it's obviously we could just delete it and then push it again, right? So actually, for JavaScript, this is a it's just so it's so simple. So this we just said the capacity is capacity. Uh, this map equals new map. When we get someone get some key, if this map has the key we return this map oh return this map get key but okay constant now it goes this map get the key but we need to move this one to the end so what you do is map and delete key right and then this map set it set it back, right. and then we return the vowel. We cannot return the minus one. And the put put. Well, when we put something, uh, when we put something, we need to check if it is over the capacity or not, right? So if this map size, if this the map size equals this capacity we need to remove least used least used here. so how could we do that well it's simple let the key of uh, this map we only process one so we break and map this map and delete the key so we remove the least used one and then we set this map set key to value. I think we're done. Cool. 
Uh, we got a problem. Wait. Mm -hmm. Okay, we we uh, okay we get two, which is new. No, no, we put two six, mm -hmm. and then put one. I get one, not exist. Get put one four, one five. Okay, now we put one two. Oh, update. <gasps> ah, this is a mistake. This uh, case of update. It's not always a new one. So okay, sorry. If key exists, update, right? Okay, so we and because I need to set the order, I need to just use the get. So val prev val equals this get key. And if it exists, the order is updated. And now we could say this map set key. Okay, no, 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 no. If if uh, prev val equals minus one, we need to do the capacity check, right? If not, we just say this map set key ready. Mm -hmm. Now we need to check if it doesn't exist and this map, this map size goes to this capacity. We need to remove the first one. This map, this map, and delete first key. Work. Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. what? If there is minus one, which means there is isn't a node. So we check the size and against the capacity. If it is, we need to push. Oh, I forgot to. Ah, we need to set the key here. So. Ah. I need to check review more before I submit. Great, and uh, we're accepted. So that's all for this one. Uh, for the time and space. Well, actually, we have a we we have a hidden we have hidden the internal implementation of this uh, into this uh, built-in map data structure. So if we get actually, if you see, we delete one and the uh, set delete one and set a new one, right? But we don't know how uh, the map delete uh, cost. Maybe just uh, better, uh, technically, I think it should be casting time here, and then cast time here. So forget and put they're all casted, right? So O one, it's actually what we want here. Uh, constant time complexity, but if we're not. We're not going to use this uh, feature like uh, the, the, the default map. What we're gonna do? Well, we could use a use a map, but with the order thing, the order we need to be done by ourselves, right? So obviously, if you take a look at the array, um, like uh, okay, for like like this, as we did here, when we want to get get the value, well, it could be you be directly fetched from a map. It's so it's constant. It's nothing. But when we get a number, we need to move the index to the previous, to the to the to the to the to the to the top, right? It's like this. So if we now need to move the two to the top, see what we can get. The first one is need to is to one. We need to search for the item, right? Like two. Uh, like for two, search for two. So how we do that? Well, if we do it search like this, it costs us linear time. But of course, we could store the index or or store the index directly to the map. So it's 
minute, uh, uh, constant time, and then um, move, splice it, splice it. So this will cost us the linear time because I need to remove it and the append it to at the end, right? So it's a linear time here, but also, okay, linear time here. If we store the index here, we need to update the all the index in the map, so it's still poor. This will cost on linear time. And now, yeah, we could do, yeah, splice will cost linear time. And then three, push at the end, it's constant. So technically, it should be linear time. But you see, with the internal implementation of map, we could do this constant time. So what should we do? Of course, it's array is not gonna be working, right? For array, if we insert, you know, like uh, splice something, it will cause the rest element to be index shifted. So it's not possible. So what could we use for to do means remove the element with constant time and push to the end with constant time? Mm, well, it's a, uh, remember when we remove something with constant time it should be linked list right so if we keep something like one two three like even for four if we're gonna remove the two uh, we first define it we could just use this approach we we store the map like uh, the node right so we could get search search the node by uh, the map from from map is node val. Okay, I, I could do something like this map with key node. So we could get it as this custom. And two, we splice it. Well, when we splice it, we need to connect one to three, right? So we don't know what which one is. Actually, we need to keep two-way one, two-way uh, linked list. So now we couldn't know where the parent is and where the uh, the oh, okay, where the next one is. We need to add a head. Cool, cool. Splice it, and this will cost us constant time because we just uh, connect one to three. Okay, and now uh, we need to move to the end we got the node 2 so we need to collect 4 to 4 right something like this well this could be done with constant time by uh, remembering last node right so the idea now becomes simple if we're not okay to use the uh, native map we could use a linked list right and uh, so the solution uh, use a linked list two way, two way linked list. If you're interested, please uh, have a try. It should should not be that difficult. Okay, so for one, for JavaScript, remember the map actually keeps track of the order, the key order, which is very important. Okay, so that's all for this one. Hope you helps. See you next time. Bye bye.